Chris and Katie Proudfoot appeared on The Nancy Grace Show, and it was very interesting to say the least. I just finished watching it. Chris says that it's up in the air whether he is still working for Jude's construction project. He returned home after Sebastian was reported missing, and it's unclear whether he ever returned to work. About that night, do you two sleep in the same bedroom? He wasn't actually in the home at all that weekend. Oh, you were not home. No, okay, ma'am. so where were you, Mr. Proudfoot? I was uh, in Memphis, Tennessee. How far away is that? Um, three hours and 37 minutes from doorstep to doorstep. And what were you doing in Memphis? Working. Where do you work? I'm currently working or was working at the St. Jude Children's Hospital uh, construction project. Yes, I'm very familiar with St. Jude's. You said you were working there. Are you no longer working there? Right now, that's up in the air. Well, you've been gone ever since Sebastian went missing, so I understand. The family home has three bedrooms, a master bedroom, a room for Sebastian, and then a room for Faith, Chris's daughter, for when she visits. There is no ring camera or alarm system at the home, but neighbors have been very keen on offering any footage they may have. Here is a part where my jaw dropped though. I've seen Chris post on Facebook that he has taken a polygraph test and passed it. However, that took a total turn on the Nancy Grace show, where he stated he never took a polygraph. Katie took one and she apparently passed. Chris offered to take one, but law enforcement told him it wasn't necessary because of his whereabouts at the time. Have the two of you taken a polygraph? I have. I have not. Would you be willing to? I've offered and volunteered on many occasions to take a polygraph, and I was told directly by law enforcement because of my whereabouts, I did not need one. I understand. Ms. Proudfoot, did you pass your polygraph? I did. Chris was working in Memphis, more than three hours away. He says that he left early February and didn't return until after he was called and told Sebastian was missing. He also said he can't speak to specific dates because law enforcement told him not to. When Chris is working, he stays in an RV in an RV park. And Mr. Proudfoot, when did you leave town? Early February. So you had been gone for days before he went missing, is that correct? Correct, yes. Had you visited home since you left? Are you said from when I initially left? Yes. Yes, ma'am. I, I came home February 26th, the morning I was told he was missing. From the time that you left for the job in Memphis to February 26th, did you visit the home? Yes, ma'am. When? Uh, I was home. I can't give exact dates. Um, law enforcement has told me not to provide exact dates, but I had been home multiple times prior to February. Um, and then I left early February and then didn't come back till February 26th, the morning he was missing. So you were not home from the time you left early February till February 26th. Is that right? Correct, ma'am. Something else that totally doesn't add up to me. Katie left the home to accompany her husband back to work. She left the home that her son could have walked away from. What if he wanders back in? She knows he is not coming back. Nancy asked her why she left the home. She says her son could be anywhere, so they are looking everywhere. Screams red flags to me. I've never heard of them joining the search, searching like Seth Rogers, who has been out there daily searching for Sebastian. Instead Chris goes back to work, and Katie accompanies him.